I got started in voiceover accidentally. My wife was making a MySpace page back when I was still working at in a Chick-fil-A kitchen as a manager, and she's like, it's got all your favorite things, and I went and checked it out, and a pop-up ad for a studio that happened to have a location in Memphis was like, they're looking for talent, blah, 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 and my wife's like, oh, you should try it out, I'm like, nah, she's like, the worst thing you do is say no, I was like, okay, try it out, they liked me, they signed me, I started doing a little bit part-time, and then my full-time job went bankrupt, so I didn't have much of a job of a uh, choice but to go, you know, try out voiceover full-time, and then somebody out in LA found me on the internet doing voices, and it's like, I think you have a lot of potential, and booked me for movie trailers, and from there I went into video games, and from there I just went all over the place, so... You take a good look at the description, you try to figure out what the client wants, but then you just go with your gut instinct. Like, whatever you really feel like doing it, because as I said, it's like, performance is the most important part, not how good your voice is. So if you can make the other person, or the audience, believe that that's what that character sounds like, and they don't think about the voice separate from the character, they think of them together. But if you can get in there and feel this empathy and this sympathy for other people and wanting to bring them together and have peace and unity, he can be a warrior when he needs to be, but he can also be a friend. And if you can just make people forget that that's a voice from some person coming out of that creature's face, and they that's what that guy sounds like, then you've done your job right. I would like to do, to become like a main or a fan favorite character in like a network animated series or like a video game franchise. You know that one guy who's like that's the guy you want to be. And sometimes it's not even the main character; it's like the sidekick or the villain or whatever. But it's like that one that the fans just love. Either they love to hate him or they just love him. You know. Um, but yeah, there's a few franchises that I love get to get to be able to work in. I've already got to work in Transformers. Hopefully, I'll get to do that more. Uh, that's always my favorite. But you know, shows like Voltron, Thundercats, the stuff that I grew up with. She-Ra, uh, yeah, this cool action stuff, or, you know, really funny comedy stuff. That's always been my favorite. I think that they don't realize a lot of it has to do with being in the right place at the right time. It's not just about being talented, it's not just about having a great voice, it's definitely about being a great actor. But unless you're in the right place at the right time, and you never know when that's going to take place. Sometimes it's just one person believing in you and giving you an opportunity. Sometimes you just make your own way, and then somebody sees it and like, wow, we can use that and this. And then, you know, so you just never know what path you take. No voice actor takes the exact same road to get there. They all have similar paths, but they, they all come from different directions. <laughs>